It's a release to just get into the moment and be a little ridiculous and crazy and to have fun. Listening to Danny Keene's music is the same as listening to him tell a story. I made my living on this truck. I've always been a piano player, but I was never felt creative. Danny uses both his words and his notes to journal the travels of his life. But I knew that I just had to, um, I knew I wanted to be connected to life. And by now, that journal is full of stories from just about every corner of the country. I heard music for the first time in my entire life. There Four years ago, Danny made a decision to finally start living. I think that everybody is living their dream, okay? I just think that it's really hard to get honest about it. He sold his house and set out with his best friend, Bo, the dog. Bo has since passed on, but Danny learned a valuable lesson from him. So now I'm not afraid, partly because uh, I'm 54 and, you know, I'm, I keep telling myself I'm going to drop dead soon. <laughs> Danny was always afraid before he set out on his adventure. He didn't used to like to interact with people without Bo as a buffer. It's not so much that I was shy, it's that I was living in fear. <laughs> and that came with 20 years because I had to make a living at it, you know. But now, people are his passion. And, and, and you, you figure, how do I get the notes going that fast? He doesn't have an agenda. He's not playing for a cause. His motivation is now following his dream. I love to empower people to have this experience, to be in the moment. And getting others to see that life can be happy, even if it's without money and material things. And so Montana. It's like absolutely uh, my, one of my top two places in the world, you know. It isn't the first and certainly not the last stop on his journey either on the road or in life. I'm just going to put it out there and just keep going for it and we'll see what happens. In Bozeman, Mike Mestis for the News Channel.